the NetBSD location where all the source files are and it's just kind of going through uh, one file at a time loading uh, that file putting it on the hard drive automatically all uh, via the web and uh, then it's going to uh, install all these files after it's downloaded them so we're just going to let uh, this continue and it should be done here in just a couple minutes so here we see that um, all the downloads have already happened uh, the automatic downloads from the FTP site uh, and now the operating system is proceeding to make uh, to make itself and so this is fully automatic uh, it's this is going to take a little while but uh, just wanted to let you know this is the next major step and again fully automatic process uh, we're just kind of following it through so we'll come back uh, when this is done so here we see that the make process is complete and now the operating system is about ready to start up and it's asking us if the wireless information that we provided uh, was accurate, the wireless information that was provided during the FTP download. So it's just going to go ahead and accept that. We're going to click yes because it is okay. And uh, it's telling us here that the extraction is complete um, and the system is going to be able to boot from the hard disk. So we're just going to hit enter here to continue and uh, the next steps here are pretty much straightforward uh, we're going to uh, to select uh, the location so that the time uh, can be set up and we're going to select America and we're going to in my case uh, we're going to go to the uh, to the um, west coast of the United States so uh, we're just going to take care of that here and there we see Los Angeles All right, and that's about it for the time and we're just going to select uh, a good encryption policy for the password Blowfish seems to be pretty good uh, we're going to go ahead and just set a password up and we're just going to type, type that in Oops, so it didn't didn't like that one. So it's setting up that password. And we're just going to set up the shell. Corn shell is pretty straightforward. Going to select that one. And so the install is done. We're just going to hit uh, enter to continue. And this should uh, this should make an attempt to reboot the machine, the Z50. And of course, the reboot process will go um, into back into uh, uh, Windows CE. And so we're going to get to that point here in just a moment. So we've completed the installation of NetBSD 5.0.1 and uh, we rebooted the computer. It's informed us that the install is complete. So now we're just going to boot the, uh, the standard kernel that's designed to be booted for the operating system to run normally. So we're going to go ahead and load that kernel and uh, boot the machine here into uh, NetBSD. So we're going to go to the CF card to the first partition, the MS-DOS, and we're going to locate um, the uh, the kernel, which is here in uh, HPC MIPS 501. We're going to go to binary instead of installation this time, and we're going to go to the kernel directory, and we're going to be booting NetBSD generic GZ um, instead of the install kernel, and that way uh, we'll be booting into the operating system and getting a login prompt, and that will uh, indicate that uh, we are in fact done with this uh, with this installation process. 
So we're going to do that now. Go to boot. And that's going to take a few seconds to load here. It's going to be loading this, uh, this run kernel or uh, the kernel used to actually run the operating system under normal conditions. And uh, it's going to get us to a login prompt and we'll be able to type in uh, the command to start X Windows also so that we can see the GUI um, that you get with NetBSD just like you do with uh, any if not all uh, versions of Unix nowadays. So we're just going to uh, wait here. It's going to be loading this kernel. And uh, we should see some progress here any second. <clears throat> and there we go. So uh, once this is done, it's going to go ahead and boot uh, into um, NetBSD 5.0.1, which is the latest version at this time of recording. So here we go. It's going to take a few seconds for the first boot. It's uh, finding the wireless card, it's finding the compact flash, and it's uh, booting uh, the operating system from the second EXT2 or NetBST partition that it is now. And you get the standard uh, fanfare here, all this text uh, for Linux, which uh, for the most part it's pretty much all automated and we don't really have to worry about uh, this, uh, this information. So we're just going to kind of let it do its thing. And here we go. It looks like uh, we should be getting to that login prompt here. And there we see a login prompt at the very bottom of the screen.